there are a lot of challenges, including the fact that it's an unregulated um, system out there where a lot of this fake news or inaccurate information or disinformation is traveling. Uh, but I think uh, we have to believe we can win the war uh, because otherwise we're kind of accepting that we're living in a country and in a society where facts and information don't matter. I think there has to be a constant effort to uh, to put the right information into the media ecosystem. Um, like Jen said, I don't think it's going to be easy and I don't think it's going to be fast. Um, but I think to accept another solution, uh, you know, is to accept that we can't have a discussion or a debate about things because two people will come to that debate believing uh, two very different sets of facts. And I, I don't think that works for, um, for anybody. It actually enhanced my belief. Um, you know, I think someone asked me about what we tried uh, in terms of new ways of communicating or different ways of communicating not in the briefing room. And one of the things we did was we did um, informational videos where we would explain complicated issues, the global oil markets. Millions of people would watch those videos. Um, I had a lot of engagements with uh, young people, people under 25, who wanted answers on what was happening in Ukraine, what was happening with inflation, what we were doing to address COVID. So I'm a believer that people do want accurate information. They don't want to be spoken down to, um, but they want to know what's happening in Washington. I think people um, first of all, the belief set is ingrained, right? And it may, have, it may in some ways have been passed down to them. Um, so you're tackling and climbing a pretty steep mountain. Uh, and, and I think a lot of people are going to be resistant to, to understanding and consuming new information or information that they're not used to. And I think it, it, it's going to take a long time to put the genie back in the bottle, if you will. Uh, but I think if you look at a lot of societal and cultural issues, you've seen over the past 10 to 15 years that, that people have, have changed their views on gay marriage, on legalizing drugs, a, a lot of things that people 10 or 15 years ago never would have thought possible.